think for this one I don't really have expectations, um, which is a little bit foreign to me, but um, this year has been definitely about enjoying what I'm doing and, and um, if there's a, a, a great result at the end of it then, then that's awesome, but I think it's, you know, it's the first year of another Olympic cycle so there's lots going on and different people are doing different things so yeah I'm, I'm here to enjoy myself and to um, appreciate it, I guess maybe what it could be my last world champs or it could be you know it could be one of many more so who knows. I had intended to be racing in Lucerne uh, and at Henley but unfortunately Covid got me um, the day of the start of Henley so that was unfortunate but um, yeah, I mean, I've still been still been training for the past year and been enjoying the sport. So, yeah, this is I'm, re I'm really looking forward to the end of this week. It's, it's pretty um, comparable to our, our winter at the moment back in New Zealand. I'm looking at the temperatures back home as things are heating up and we're going the other way here. So I guess that's an advantage for the Kiwis. We've come out of winter, um, had, a, had a 10 day camp and Luciano in Italy which heated us up a little but now we're back to, to jackets and long sleeves. Really super proud of that result in Tokyo and it was something that I'd worked so many years for um, and it's something that I'll never forget but I guess you know the world moves on and we're into another Olympic cycle and I'm the same old Emma just doing what I love so um, I guess there's there, there is pressure that comes with being an Olympic champion but at the same time there's no pressure at all because I've, I've achieved what I've wanted to so yeah it's, a, it's kind of a nice spot to be in. It was a strange one from a COVID perspective but and not having you know family and friends there because they've been such a massive part of, of my journey um, but I just just I remember immense pride when I finally did it and and sharing that with the team that I had really close with me there um, and then pretty much you know hopping on a plane and heading straight back to New Zealand and into a uh, managed isolation room in New Zealand for two weeks so it was a really bizarre experience um, but actually going over and doing what I knew I always could do was, was pretty special. I guess since Tokyo I've become a mum, which is, you know, one of, is my, my biggest and greatest achievement to date. Uh, it will supersede any kind of medal that you win in rowing, so that's, yeah, it's, it's been quite a journey and um, I'm loving being a mum alongside my wife Shah and yeah she's doing all the, the hard work but it's yeah it's really been a journey and I'm excited to, to kind of watch him grow and hopefully add to our family as well. I think a cool thing to note is that, that actually I found out that Shah was pregnant when I had, had a week of um, isolation in New Zealand on our way back after Tokyo so a week after winning gold medal I found out Shah was pregnant which was pretty amazing. Um, and yeah, I think just it's been a real journey for us to obviously to, to get here and it's something that I'm really proud of and, and I hope that you know by sharing our story as well that others will be inspired to do something similar. Yeah, I think it gives perspective definitely. Um, you know, you're not solely focused on what you're doing in rowing, you've got to think about another little human and um, it's yeah, it's it adds its challenges. You've got to be probably a little bit more flexible with my training and my training times. But my team is amazing from that respect, respect and fully supportive of it. Um, and I guess yeah, it just adds that layer of perspective. So that when you go and have a, a hard day on the water or a, a bad race, you come home and you realise that you know, um, you know, Tom doesn't know, <laughs> doesn't know, doesn't care what I'm doing in a rowing boat. There's you know, unconditional love everywhere. Uh, yeah, it's a question that I get asked a lot. Am I aiming for Paris? Um, I'm still pondering that. I'm still taking it regatta by regatta and I, I had a great catch up with Sunita the other day actually and we're probably in a similar boat where we're just, you know, going from regatta to regatta and, and making sure that we're enjoying it and uh, yeah, I think if it, I continue in this way and I still love what I'm doing then Paris is only, what, 18 months away now so it's, it's not long to hang in there. Um, but at the same time I think I'll just, yeah, take it day by day. It's a million dollar question. Ha <laughs> ha.